Dear Senator Danes, This is a letter from a girl who is tired of checking that her friends are marked safe on Facebook. This is a letter from a girl who experienced true terror as she saw people like her targeted in the town where her sister lived. This is a letter from a girl who is tired of seeing the words in memoriam splashed across a dozen different news websites. This is a letter from a girl who wants to burn the black dress in her closet because she is sick of living in a nation that is content to live in perpetual grief, happy to ignore the blood and tears running through the streets so long as they don't have to change anything. This is a letter from a girl who cannot accept that to some, access to a ridiculously overpowered weapon is worth more than the lives of a school's worth of children. This is a letter from a girl who wants to spit in disgust that those who are supposed to represent and protect the American people have instead decided to line their pockets with the money of the weapons makers. This is a letter from a girl who has lost track of the number of mass shootings that have happened in her lifetime, whose sister lost a friend in Orlando, whose high school friends hid in a hotel room in Vegas, whose teacher had tears streaming down her face as she told us about the five-year-olds lost in Sandy Hook. This is a letter from a girl who is holding on to her anger and her grief with a white-knuckled grip because she refuses to slip into complacency. This is a letter from a girl who expects you to do your job and do all you can to make sure that this never happens again. This is a letter from a girl who will one day run for your seat and so far has only learned what not to do from you. Sincerely, Rebecca Matheson. P.S. Keep my seat warm for me.